All right, one messed up family. Mine growing up. Um, mine along the way of life. This is amazing. Uh, enter Judah. Let's talk about Judah a minute. You know, his, uh, you read the Old Testament and uh, about him, and anything about his life, uh, legacy was anything but stellar. Okay, uh, don't want to deceive her, sell out unfaithful husband, father. If you choose anyone else in the house of Jacob to bear the seed of the Messiah, it would be Jacob's brother Joseph, whose life was life bore the marks of faithfulness to God. And let me tell you, sometimes we compare ourselves to other people and say, oh, look at them. Boy, oh boy. Um, look at their life. Well, let me tell you something. Most of the time, there's a lot going on. And excuse me, because I think I'm going to sneeze. Maybe. <coughs> Apologize. Anyways, so... I don't want you to feel bad. By grace are you saved through faith. Uh, we're not worthy. None, none is worthy. No, not one. So here, yet God didn't choose. Um, you know, yet God didn't. He chose Judah. He didn't choose Joseph. Why? Because God didn't come for the righteous. He came for the sinners. I am such a lonely sinner such as I am. So, and he loves, in the Bible it says, he yearns for that one lost sheep. He'll leave the flock of 99 and go for that one sheep, and that's you sometimes. So sometimes in your life you feel unworthy, not like, how can God love me? I'm a failure. I've done this. Come on. Keep your head apart. Up high. Arm up. Stand up. Speak up. Remember, it's God. Working through the characteristics like Judah highlights the fact God's grace towards sinner. That's a message we all need to hear. That's the message for today. No matter where you are, who you are, what you are, what you do, that it doesn't matter where you've been. It matters today is the day of salvation. Um, that's for the people who don't know Christ. If you don't know Christ, you just say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I need you in my heart. Come and live in my heart. And the Holy Spirit will. It's a simple prayer. It will change your life forever. If you are a Christian and been walking the path and feel like, wow, you know what, I've just not been the super Christian. Let me tell you, a lot of people you look at are not as super as you think, <laughs> myself included. So you just say, hey, Lord, I'm recommit myself to you today. So God's grace is sufficient. He didn't come for the righteous. He came for the unrighteous and to bring them in reconciliation to him. All right? Remember, arm up to stand up, to speak up, to show up, boom, to blow it up for the Lord today. Armor up. Take care. Love you.